as a young boy growing up in these mountains you feel quite special and I think what makes it really unique you know there's a lot of mountains there's a lot of sheep but there's nobody that have these ponies and as a child running on these hills gathering them before the quads came and then as I got older I had a horse to gather with my father and following in his footsteps these ponies are so special and unique because there's only 220 of them left or breeding mares left in the world at one stage in Wales back in the Celtic times they would have run all over the mountains but this is their last stronghold this is their Jurassic Park we have an annual gathering to bring them off the mountains where we do a health check and I feel so proud that my family has been part of this whole story for at least 370 years it's just amazing to see them on the top of their mountains at 3,000 feet these ponies have adapted to this harsh condition over hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years it's survival of the fittest they're shorter than the section a they're more robust their coats are hardier we're wrapped up in about 10 layers and they're looking at us going wait what's going on this is what makes them unique is because man has not been interfering with them too much yes we manage them we gather them once a year we take a few of them off but the rest of them it's up to their own devices 2013 we were hit by one of the biggest snowstorms ever these valleys underneath me 40 foot valleys were covered in snow 100 of these ponies died overnight and the day I buried them with the rest of the farmers and the volunteers I came down off that hill and I drove into the yard and my father was sitting in the window and he called me in and he sat me down on the kitchen table and he said to me this is the way it's always been he had seen 200 of these ponies frozen on their feet But what he said to me, what nature has done today, it's taken out the old, the weak, and anything with any problems. But what I can tell you, the gathering in that autumn was unreal. I don't know if there's somebody up there watching after these ponies, but the majority of foals that year were female. And let me tell you, I've never seen the ponies looking so well. It was the best summer we'd ever had. So it shows you, nature addresses the balance. It's the least amount of management you can do and the least amount of interfering and making sure that we get it right. Our family has always been part of the custodians of these magical mysterious ponies and I didn't want to be the generation to lose that they were threatened and they were very close to be wiped out these ponies are so important you think of the history behind these and how easy it would have been to lose them and for me I've got three children and they come up and gather now and they're following in my footsteps so there will be a future for these beautiful, unique Carnedai ponies running wild on our mountains. <laughs>